Our world is in peril. Gaia, the spirit of the Earth, can no longer stand the terrible destruction plaguing our planet. She sends five magic rings to five special young people. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 best cartoons you forgot existed. Why are you so upset over those dumb little toys? They're not dumb, they're Hucklebuddies, and I love them! For this list, we're taking a look at outstanding animated programs that sadly fell through the cracks after they aired their final episodes, and are overdue for a comeback. Most of these ended some time ago, and probably haven't crossed your mind in a while, but they were awesome nonetheless. Which of these cartoons did you miss out on? Let us know in the comments. Number 20. Mummies Alive with the strength of Ra. Remember this animated series about ancient Egyptian mummies? After Scarab kills Prince Rapses, he reawakens in the modern world on his quest to find Presley, who now has Rapses' spirit so he can become immortal. How long I have waited. Let me go, who are you? Don't you recognize me, my prince? Don't you remember your old pal, Scarab? Luckily, 12-year-old Presley is protected by a group of dedicated mummies, Armin and Nefertina. Different Egyptian gods and spirits appeared in the short-lived show, like Anubis, Set, Geb, and Apep, with each mummy paired with a god in order to fight evil. Unfortunately, it was cancelled after its first season due to low ratings, but with 42 episodes to go through, this gem is worth rediscovering. Let's just give Scarab the spirit or the syrup or whatever he wants and get this over with. Go on, take it. He can have it. No, he can't. Number 19. Brave Star. Filmation knew a thing or two about making entertaining sci-fi shows. However, very few remember the very last cartoon it ever produced, Brave Star. A carrion rush has brought colonists to the far-off planet of New Texas, and most of them are villainous. And look at here, the vein gets bigger and bigger. We're rich, partner. We're rich. Fortunately, Marshall Brave Star and 3030 are there to keep the peace. If he's ever in a jam. Brave Star can call on the power of the spirit animals to amp up his game. Like most series at the time, Brave Star offered morals that anyone at any age can learn, with some lessons hitting harder than others. I promise not to tell, but I have to because I'm really worried. It's Jay. He's... he's a spin addict. You did the right thing to tell me, Brad. Unfortunately, it couldn't measure up to shows like He-Man, and after one last origin film, both the show and filmation were shut down for good. Number 18, Count Duckula. And then am I thinking that the grass is getting too long when all the time it's you making the castle smaller. What do you think you're doing? During his time on Danger Mouse, Count Duckula always dreamed of having his own show. He finally got his wish in 1988 with his very own spin-off, or at least some form of him did. It turns out that the Count actually comes from a long dynasty of vicious vampire ducks, but unlike his villainous predecessor, this new descendant is a vegetarian pacifist with ketchup for blood. Longtime Danger Mouse viewers enjoyed this series for its smart humor and hilarious concept. A vegetarian vampire, how is that not funny? Look, I've got stuck to my model of the Titanic. The glue sorta of got a bit out of hand. <laughs> well got a bit sort of on the hand, really. <laughs> Sadly, the fun couldn't last forever, and the Count had to be put to rest from the airwaves. However, like the rest of his dynasty, he will always make a comeback in showbiz. Number 17. The Wuzzles Many remember Disney's Adventures of the Gummy Bears, but few remember the series that premiered on the same day. Welcome to the Land of Wuzz, home of the Wuzzles, strange creatures that are a mix of two different animals. Each Wuzzle has its own split personality, from bumble lions, half bumblebees and half lion, to elaroos, half elephant and half kangaroo. You okay, elaroo? Oh yeah, sure, except for this funny feeling in my tummy. Hey, you laid an egg, elaroo! And each episode follows the fantastic adventures of these strange hybrid creatures. In addition to its smooth animation, this show offered some very sweet and fun stories that the whole family could enjoy. While its first season was a success, its time on the air was cut short after the tragic death of Bill Scott, the voice of Moosel. Well, look who's here! Hey Moosel, is that you? <coughs> Where's Hoppo? In the bush, uh, I mean, uh, he's bushed. Number 16, The Life and Times of Juniper Lee. 
Though we can't see them, there are wild and creepy monsters lurking among us, from prankster gods to money-hungry mummies. Luckily, there's Juniper Lee to keep the balance between the human and magic worlds. Juniper! I paid Ray Ray five bucks yesterday to clean up my room while I fought off the lava trolls. Unfortunately, keeping peace between worlds doesn't help with our sassy protector's school or social life, but somehow she keeps things flowing. This rare gem has been described as Buffy the Vampire Slayer meets The Simpsons, and although it's a fantasy story, it was never afraid to make fun of itself. The ratings were not on the show's side, however, and after three seasons, Juniper Lee left the airwaves. All right, all of you! Out! <laughs> Who keeps the two worlds balanced now? Number 15. The Pirates of Dark Water Hanna-Barbera produced cartoons have a solid track record, and this program is no exception. The insidious dark water substance is destroying the fictional world of Mer, and only the 13 treasures of rule can free the planet. Knowing this, Prince Ren and his crew sail off to find these hidden treasures and save their world. The only thing standing in their way is the evil pirate lord, Bloff. To waste my soul! Keep that monkey bird from getting the gem. Pirates of Dark Water stuck out among other tunes of the time with its swashbuckling premise and grit. Tragically, the adventure ended on a cliffhanger, with only eight treasures found and the Dark Water undefeated. What are we waiting for? Aren't there still five treasures left? Let's set sail! Number 14. Cadillacs and Dinosaurs What would happen if the dinosaurs suddenly returned after years of extinction? A savage future where nature's gone wild and only the strong can survive. That's what. Based on the Xenozoic Tales comics, the series follows Jack Tenrick and his crew of mechanics as they struggle for survival in this untamed land, while also facing corrupt politicians and merciless poachers. You have to go on, Hannah. Get to the city. Not without you. I'll only slow you down. Wasoon must form an alliance with the city in the sea. It's the only hope for what's left of the human race. This series was definitely ahead of its time. In addition to being well-written and animated, the story tackled some very deep environmental issues, like crooked governors who hate nature for taking their world, and freedom fighters who want to make peace with nature. Despite its cult following, the show ended after only 13 episodes, with no renewal plans. The Council thanks you, Tenric, for uh, saving the settlements and uh, for maintaining the balance of life. I didn't think it could be done. Number 13. Bucky O'Hare and the Toad Wars In the faraway Anniverse, an empire of toads controlled by a rogue computer program threatens the galaxy and plans to turn every animal into slaves. It isn't fair! He was my slave! Mine! However, Captain Bucky O'Hare and his crew of the Righteous Indignation are ready to croak these toads with the help of their new human engineer, Willy. Based on the continuity comic series, this well-animated tune explored a vast and expanding universe of animals while following an intense story arc about intergalactic war. Sadly, it only lasted 13 episodes on the air, but at least it ended with a major victory for the funky green rabbit. Number 12. Megas XLR Chicks dig giant robots, and so do we. A thousand years in the future, Earth is at war with the alien forces of the Glorft, and the only hope for humanity is a giant time-traveling robot called Megas. Unfortunately, it travels too far into the past and gets discovered and modified by two slackers, Coop and Jamie. Hey, I am a responsible adult. Oh yeah, responsible. Like nearly sucking the earth into a black hole. It was a spatial void, thank you very much. Now Commander Kiva must train the two primitives to pilot Megas and defeat the Glorfed for good. The pilot first aired as a part of a contest to see which show Cartoon Network would greenlight, and audiences loved this action comedy. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. Sadly, there wasn't much love when it came to the ratings, prompting its unfortunate cancellation. However, longtime fans still have hope for a revival. Number 11. The Weekenders I think I feel like... Chili, chili cheese, cheese fries. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> synchronized! <laughs> This Toon Disney classic was all about the fun of living for the weekend. Our four favorite seventh graders, Tino, Lore, Carver, and Tish, took on Bahia Bay from Monday to Friday as they powered through school and dealt with everything that comes along with being in junior high, while getting into all sorts of crazy adventures come Saturday. Well, my mom said we should be supportive and wait. Boring! 
Viewers were entertained at all times, whether it was watching these friends hit up the always changing pizza joint, the arcade, or a museum that gives away interesting free samples. Despite its positive reviews and ratings, it was cancelled after four seasons. But it's definitely worth rediscovering, especially to pump you up for the weekend. See guys, you had fun. Maybe. A little. I did like the dreadnought at cheerleaders. Number 10. Brace Face I can't go out with Alden looking like this! You may have forgotten this animated show, but we've gotta ask. How could you forget the perpetually unlucky Sharon Spitz? The brace-faced junior high school student experienced the ups and downs, well, mostly downs, of being a teenage girl, regularly getting herself caught in embarrassing situations. Is there any papaya in there? <laughs> yep. Along with her pals Maria, Connor, Eldon, and Brock, she would often go up against the queen bee Nina Harper, but thankfully her friends always had her back. It may have only lasted for three seasons, but it was funny and relatable. And with Alicia Silverstone serving as both executive producer and the voice of Sharon, we wish this often forgotten show had never left us. Someone will pick us up. They will. Number nine, Dino Riders. The dreadlock's closing in on us. Yeah, and the whole room on our matter is right behind. How do you make dinosaurs more awesome than they already are? You equip them with futuristic artillery, team them up with aliens, and place them in the middle of a war. Duh. Considering the Star Wars meets Jurassic Park premise, it's peculiar that Dino Riders only lasted 14 episodes. While it primarily existed to sell toys, this cartoon really epitomized every imaginative little kid's dream by not only including dinosaurs, but also spaceships, lasers, and time travel too. Heck, it even had Frank Welker doing his Dr. Claw voice as the villainous Krulos. My plan is working better than I had anticipated. Number 8. Biker Mice from Mars Hey, hey, Throttle! Watch me blow past that snort from Saturn. One thing you might have noticed about late 80s and early 90s cartoons. A lot of them sounded like 50s B-movies targeted at kids. One of the most notable examples was Biker Mice from Mars. Just try to say that title out loud without giggling a little. Although the idea of biker mice Martians named Throttle, Moto, and Vinny may seem like a random combination, these elements went together better than crackers and cheese. Break time. <laughs> With self-aware humor, creative characters, and colorful action, this sci-fi action cartoon knew exactly how to appease the Saturday morning crowd. Saddle up! Number 7. Samurai Pizza Cats. Three, two, one. Pizza cats are on the run. It might sound like a Ninja Turtles ripoff, but Samurai Pizza Cats was actually an English adaptation of an anime series. Reworked with new dialogue for its US release, the show played out like the most ludicrous anime ever meets Animaniacs. Sheesh, I was having a fine day till this monster came along. It never stopped to take a breather as pop culture references and rapid talking characters zoomed by every second. Just watching one episode made you feel like you're on a sugar high, making Samurai Pizza Cats the perfect show to go with a bowl of unhealthy cereal. Bet you the train's down there, let's look! Uh oh, how about a little later? Yeah! 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 Number 6. Hi Hi Puffy Ami Yumi. The J-pop group Puffy Ami Yumi is immensely popular in Japan, but did you know they had their own animated series in America? Created by Sam Register, a fan of the real-life group, this series follows the hilarious misadventures of our cartoon rock stars as they tour the world to perform rocking music and bring J-pop coolness around the globe. So, we're still a band? Rock and roll! This long-lost comedy took a lot of inspiration from Japanese culture. Even the voice actresses, Janice Kawaii and Grey Delisle, can speak fluent Japanese. We must fight! The crazy melting monkey told me so! Fight? You're my best friend, Ami. I could never fight you. Really? Phew. The real-life Ami Yumi made live-action appearances throughout the series, and even provided some of the songs. Sadly, even though it increased Cartoon Network's audience, CN pulled the series plug in 2006, and that was that. Number 5. Darkwing Duck 
another order of dastardly delinquents deposited on your doorstep courtesy of Darkwing Duck. Darkwing Duck essentially took all the adventure, wit, and imagination of DuckTales and put them in a superhero setting. What distinguished the cartoon from all the other comedic superhero shows at the time was its title character, who managed to be lovable despite being an egomaniac. Hey, no fair! You're messing with the mighty mallard! You sure this is the right guy? When I get through with you, you're gonna wish Negaduck was duck enough to do his own dirty deeds! The self-centered Darkwing maintained a strong moral center through his plucky daughter Gosselin, bumbling sidekick Launchpad, and on-again, off-again girlfriend Morgana in a never-ending pursuit to take on the incredibly inventive villains that plague the city of St. Canard. While we haven't gotten a reboot yet, a new comic series featuring the beloved duck was released in January 2023, so there's still hope. Now it's time to say goodbye to all our company! Number 4. Reboot Prepare to taste the blade of my... butter knife? Believe it or not, kids, there was a time when CGI animation was considered innovative. Reboot was the first television series to be completely rendered through computers, and it put the technology to great use. This high-tech show had all the thrills of a video game, with delightful characters and a unique world of its own. Okay, everyone, get ready! We're going to shut the portal! Although some of the animation might be dated by today's standards, Reboot remains a significant stepping stone between Tron and the CGI renaissance started by Toy Story. While Reboot did receive a spin-off in 2018 in Netflix's Reboot The Guardian Code, it has less in common with the original show than peanut butter has with pickles. Now, can we please get a real reboot reboot already? Chaos will always triumph over order! Number 3. Samurai Jack No matter what form you take, Aku, you will never defeat the side of righteousness. Live action or animated, this four-time Emmy award-winning series was one of the most cinematic television series ever produced. Unlike some action cartoons that relied heavily on exposition and dialogue, Samurai Jack told a slew of diverse stories through a dazzling fusion of choreography, atmosphere, and animation. Creator Gendy Tartakovsky had hoped to bring Jack and Aku's ongoing battle to a conclusion with a feature film, but it never came to fruition. Fortunately, after fans had spent over a decade hoping for a Samurai Jack movie, comic, or TV revival, their beloved Samurai got his final curtain call when Adult Swim ordered a long overdue fifth season. Jack? Jack? Number 2. Shadow Raiders, also known as War Planets. Warning. Warning. Planet Tech's atmosphere has been breached by the Beast Planet. A spiritual successor of sorts to reboot, this CGI sci-fi series takes place in a solar system known as the Cluster. When the dreaded beast planet rises into power, the feuding worlds of fire, rock, bone, and ice join forces to save the galaxy they all call home. With an original mythology and strong connection to nature, Shadow Raiders is a surprisingly adult series about the importance of unity. We cannot allow it to destroy our freedom, our hope, our very lives. The show is so much more than either of its titles would lead you to believe. And even though it was based on the Trendmaster's toy line, it stood on its own as an original, innovative, and well-executed series. Then find a way to get this ship up and running. I'll rally the troops. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Gargoyles Shall we let our brothers and sisters have all the fun? If there was ever an animated series that deserved a wider audience, it was Gargoyles. That's not to say the show hasn't found a dedicated cult following over the years, but it's never quite achieved the same status as other cartoons produced by Disney. Time is like a river, correcting its course against any change. Creator Greg Wiseman truly assembled a breathtaking epic, however, employing stunning animation, a dark tone, sophisticated themes, complex characters, a well-developed plot, and influences from classic literature. If you never caught the show when it aired, drop everything and go check it out. It's an experience you won't forget anytime soon. You are merely delaying the inevitable. 
Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.